Let's look where up. Okay, so this is my generic title. I use it for every talk I give because it means nothing. Um, it's good to have some, to be semantics free sometimes. Um, and uh, as I said, I'm going to do rather than one long boring talk, I'm going to do instead two short boring talks. Um, so if you don't like the first one, just nap for a while and then you'll see if the second one's any good. For the first one, I'm going to look at what I see as the essence of agile software development. Um, we're here at an agile conference. We hear a lot of talk about agile. Uh, when we started doing this stuff, we made the big thing about agile software development because we were kind of the rebels. And now agile is everywhere. Well, actually, agile isn't everywhere. Pseudo agile is everywhere. <laughs> but I think there's still some benefits that we've seen, and I'll talk about that as we go. But in particular, I think it is at times worth reflecting on what the essence of Agile is about. And to begin with, it really has to start with thinking about where software was in the 1990s. Lots of problems with all sorts of projects. I was a consultant, I ran time in time with these kinds of situations. I'm not saying this stuff has gone away, but I think it has been significantly reduced. But at the time, this, certainly this was seen as a big problem. And many people felt they knew what the cure was. And the cure was the big plan-driven processes. We need to have these highly defined, everything stepped up front, big methodology with a capital M and a capital E and all the rest in double caps, and very defined approaches to doing things. That was seen as the cure to the software ills at the time. If you weren't talking about this in the late 1990s, you were clearly unprofessional. Um, and not really a part of the future of software development. But there were some people who had a different kind of approach. And that's where Agile was born, in very much in reaction to this notion that the true way of doing things was these defined processes. Now, the manifesto obviously is one way of trying to describe what tied these people together. I mean, because there's a bunch of different people here. The extreme programming crowd, the scrum crowd, Alistair Coburn, the pragmatic programmers, various different people who came up with this notion of Agile as an umbrella to cover the different ideas that were around. Just before we had this um, meeting, about a year or so before, um, I wrote an article called New Methodology, which was my attempt to try to look at what was going on in this scene, also together with some other stuff like open source software, and 